We just got to Konya. We're here at the Hilton Inn Garden. But we're hungry, so we're just gonna put our stuff in the room and then we'll go get something to eat. I think tomorrow we'll show you more of the room and the hotel, but we'll see you at dinner. Okay, we're here at this place called Lok Mahane. We're gonna try it out. Andrea found it online and it looks to be pretty promising. Let's take a look. Okay, so we're here at this restaurant and it looks really nice. It seems like they're going for a rustic vibe or something. And we just ordered the food. We'll see who it is. They started off with some soup that has some fruit. I've never tried any soups with fruit before, so it looks interesting. Kind of like a cider juice. And then we have some grape leaves stuffed with meat with some yogurt for dipping. And then other dipping sauces for bread. I tried this one out with tomato and it has some different vegetables. It's good, kind of like a like a pasta sauce. And this one has vinegar and like a balsamic type of flavor to it. Um, it's a little bit sour, but it tastes good when you dip the bread in it. It's really good, it's juicy. The grape leaves have a different flavor. Um, that adds to the meat. They're pretty small. I've seen bigger ones, but these are like bite sized. I think that they're good. I'm going to try the soup. It looks more like a juice or with cider or something. Yeah, it tastes like a fruit juice with some fruit that's been sitting in there. It's very sweet. Um, I like it. And then this one is lamb with rice. And you saw that the way that they were cutting it, but actually it's really tender. You don't really need a knife. It's good. I'm not a fan of lamb meat if it's too greasy, but this one, it's not that greasy. And the rice has all the flavor of the juices from the lamb. Okay, and because we're hungry, now we're gonna eat already. I'm really looking forward to this lamb meat with rice because it's really good. We've had it before, uh, but here it's supposed to be a little different. And there's a lot of stuff that we have here, so now we're going to enjoy it. Just wanted to point out that they have a ton of these fermenting bottles. Um, and I think that's how we got some of the soup. It's really nice. They have their decor with uh, fermented vegetables bottled up. Adds to the rustic vibe that they have here. Okay, we just finished our meal. I think the food was pretty good. Um, it's not cheap, it's not pricey, but I mean, you understand that here in this street where it looks like it's a little more for tourists, that the prices will be a little higher. But we really enjoyed it. The place is really nicely decorated really rustic as Andrea mentioned earlier. This street has several traditional restaurants and shops for tourists and it looks really nice. It looks like they renovated some of their locations and the restaurant we just ate at was renovated in 2014 and now these are really good traditional Anatolian cuisine. Yeah and I think we'll be back tomorrow to try something else here um, and see if it's any different because right now it's pretty um, quiet. There aren't that many people out but we'll see if tomorrow it's any different. Good morning everyone, this is our second day here in Konya, our first full day and we're gonna go to get some breakfast and today is I think gonna be a busy day, so we'll see. from 6 to 11 in the morning and I think next time we'll come in a little bit earlier because it's a packed right now. Uh, it's the usual breakfast, that you, Turkish breakfast that you see in most hotels, with breads, cheeses, vegetables, fruits and they had fresh honeycomb and some cereal. Yeah so we're gonna eat this pretty quick so that we can head out already because if the crowds here are any indication of how it will be out there it's gonna be a busy day so we're gonna get started. So another thing I wanted to share about the hotel is that it's really conveniently located. Today we're just gonna walk around to all the sites that we wanna see. And if you see right here, that's the hotel and that's the 
Panorama Museum. So that's where we're going next. We'll show you once we're there. It's about a two minute walk, three minute walk, something like that. So we'll see you there. Okay, we're in here. Um, it's only six Turkish lira each. And if you're a student, it's uh, 2.5 each, so even better. Now we're just gonna walk around, take a look, and see what we can learn here in this museum. They have an interesting exhibit of Medlana's childhood and his life as he grew up, so I think it's good if you wanna learn more about this, to come here and just take a look how they used to live in the early 13th century. Okay, now we're headed to this interesting part of the museum which is where obviously it gets the name panorama because you get a panorama of what the 13th century Seljuk Empire where Mevlana grew up would have been like. The museum is pretty small. We saw the two exhibits that they have. They have another one outside with small scale structures of different buildings and Unfortunately, it's under construction, so we can't walk around, but we can show you a bit. It's good to come here and learn a bit. I think it's worth visiting. And I think when it's fully finished, it's going to be even nicer because it seems like they are putting a pretty good amount of attention to details. So I think you should come check it out. We came here just to stop by the Konya Mevlana Culture Center because we want to make sure that we are able to get tickets for tonight. The person here told us that we do need to buy tickets, but it's not a problem. We can get them here this evening. And so we'll be headed back to our regular tour. We're here at the Independence War Monitors Monument. And there's a museum in the back, so we're going to go see it. say do not miss this museum that they have here in the back of the monument it's really nice and they have some really pretty mosaics on the walls of course of some of the more prominent figures in Turkish history and it's free so that's great especially for the quality of museum that they have here it's also a very relaxing place come check it out As you walk throughout the museum, you'll see plaques on the wall with names of martyrs who lost their lives during the Independence War. It's a special place to come and visit and recommend it to learn more about the history of Turkey. We're here at the Mevlana Museum, which is one of Konya's most iconic sightseeing attractions. 